just, I just didn't feel comfortable running on a two lane street where cars are going at 70 mile an hour. If it's the only way to get to Brighton, then in all honesty, I probably shouldn't move up here. It's a beautiful day out today, guys. I've got a massively horrible headache. It could be because I'm dehydrated, but uh, I got up really late because I couldn't fall asleep because of my massive headache last night, and it carried into today. And um, I'm really, really feeling it right now. I have to go up to Brighton today. Um, we'll see about the leg to Boulder. It really depends on how I feel when I get up to Brighton and back. So, um, but right now I got to make a detour also downtown because there, there's something I need to pick up. But, uh, oh man, I'm just not feeling it today. So, I got a late start and I really, really, really need to hurry. You see, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Like right there, you know, you got all this glass just like strewn out pretty much everywhere. Like this is one single Coke bottle. One single Coke bottle right here. It's the same one. And somebody broke the damn thing and just smeared it all over the trail. But see, this is what I'm talking about. On this bike, I have really strong tires, which I might have to end up getting for all my bikes because of dickheadedry like that. People just do that stuff just to be assholes. Um, if I was riding my road bike, I would be completely fucked right now because my road bike tires our race tires, which are really, really thin. I'm not sure what the guys in the river are always doing. It looks like they're panhandling for gold. Maybe they are. I thought they were fishing at first, or maybe like setting traps or something down. Looks like they're panhandling. We're gonna try to go off the road a little bit and see if we can find a uh, alternate route around. So I guess I gotta ride on the street with all the douchebag drivers now since they blocked off the trail. And the wind is coming full force at me. And it sucks. But theoretically, I should be able to ride the wind home, but the wind gods are never in my favor. They always change their direction when I'm heading home. Nice of them. That's what I hate about riding on the road. It's too goddamn busy. And downhill we go.
Um, I'm going to uh, start off to Brighton now and uh, hopefully I can, uh, you know, find my way over there. Seems like it's a, a very windy day, and then on top of that, it's uh, on top of that, uh, my head has just been killing me all day. I have not had a break from this headache at all. This is why I don't like having a cord. It always seems to get tangled up and come undone. Quite aggravating. Uh, See, I don't know about this, guys. I really don't. Um, this is like a gravel road. And uh, that wind is kicking. <sighs> I tell you, it's everything I can do to push against that son of a bitchin' wind. It's perfectly fine if you got a gravel bike or you got a, uh, you know, you got a mountain bike or something. And I do, but my commuting setup is specifically designed for commuting. So I don't know how this is going to work out yet. All I know is I'm getting cold because of that wind. That is getting really cold. See, when you're out here in the open, it's much, much more difficult, much more difficult to uh, ride because the wind is usually pretty atrocious around here. When you're down in the city or whatever, there's so much stuff to block the wind. So you're usually all right. Ugh. I don't know if you can see off in the distance, that's the city. We've rode a long way. It's amazing how much more of the mountains, I don't even know if you guys noticed that, but you can see mountains that go right up into the clouds. It's really cool. You might not be able to see that from here, but. I am wiped. This, I've been riding against the wind ever since I left Denver. And this wind is atrocious. Uh, the cold wind does feel good against my uh, head, but I can feel it, man. I don't know what the hell's wrong. I should have took some aspirin or something. My head is killing me. Looks like up there, the trail comes to an end. Hopefully, it, hopefully we can turn so it's, oh, so it's stop riding against this damn wind. This shit's 35 mile an hour wind. That is hard to push against. Here on the east end of town, lots of development going on. It's slow going, man, because this wind is killer. It's about the hardest wind I've rode through. It's almost gale force. This bike trail is just totally in. And it's on the highway with the regular cars. This fucking sucks. I hate when I ride down a trail for so long and then all of a sudden everything just comes to an end. Sorry, 
The GPS on the bike route told you this is the way to go, but it's about time. Yeah, this isn't gonna work out. I mean, this place is just too hard to get to by bicycle. Riding on the road with a lot of these idiots is just, I mean, these people are going pretty fast. I mean, there, there's just no way. I mean, I can't ride a road like this. You know, you're gonna get hit. I said, fuck it. I got about to Brighton and I said, you know what, I'm going back home. I'm freezing to death. And uh, on top of that, it's just not possible to get up here very safely. My mouth is so cold, I can barely talk. The wind is atrocious. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it's just way too cold. Well, I got such a late start, it was not even really feasible to go over to Boulder at all. But with the wind, it took me forever to get to Brighton. And uh, I made it probably about a mile outside of town, at maybe two miles outside of town. And uh, the road, the bike's shoulder completely disappeared. And these cars were going so fast. I said, fuck this, it ain't worth getting into an accident and getting killed. Because those people, they won't move over for you. They were going so fast. I just didn't feel comfortable running on a two lane street where cars are going at 70 mile an hour. Like this little bike lane right here is fine. This is fine. If they had something like this all the way up there, that would be nice. I mean, there are too many people in the world that don't pay attention to what they're doing. There are too many people in the world that, you know, hate cyclists being on the road. It just isn't worth dying for. I got too much shit to do this summer to get killed by some idiot not paying attention, messing with some CDs in his seat and runs off the shoulder a little bit and kills me. I like being a good distance away from traffic, like here. Anyway, I'm heading back to Denver right now and I'm gonna get something to eat and then I'm going to head home and... Uh. Hi everybody, I made it back home. I didn't vlog much on the way back just because it was, I mean the temperature dropped and it got really cold really fast. And with the way the wind was, it was really, really unpleasant. But like I said, no bike trails on two lane roads with cars. It's just not, uh, I mean, I could do it, but you're basically hoping people are paying attention. You know, I've done this, I've, I've rode on two lanes before. You know, you, sometimes you just, in order to get to where you're going, you have to. Um, and that's fine, but you gotta pray that people are paying attention. And that's the whole point. Um, would I want to do that every single day? No, I don't want to go home every single day or ride to work every single day and then kind of just in the back of my mind hope that people are paying attention and uh, this isn't the day that I'm going to get rear-ended and killed. So anyway, um, today was a bust. I did the best I could and unfortunately it just didn't work out too well. Anyway, I am super wiped, so I'm going to bed. I'm tired, and I don't feel so good either, and my head hurts, and I do appreciate you guys coming along and watching me suffer against that wind. It was, uh, it was an experience, so I'm going to go to bed. I will talk to you guys tomorrow, so bye-bye.